Hello and welcome to the Springboard VR overview video. In this video, we will be reviewing all of the Springboard VR features and capabilities. We will keep everything at a fairly high level in this video, so if you're looking for more detailed information on our feature sets, please reference the features page of our website. All right, let's get started. So first thing you should know about Springboard VR is it is comprised of two main components. You have the admin panel, which is for the arcade owners, it's where you set up your stations, locations, etc. And then there's the launcher, and the launcher needs to be downloaded on each one of your computers at your arcade. Let's first review the admin panel. The admin panel lives on the cloud, and you can access it via a username and password. So let's go ahead and log in now. And this is your admin panel. We have different tabs to set up different things like stations and games and user, users. Here in the top right hand corner, we have a little bit more information. And the first time you log in, you should be prompted to start a tour that shows you how to set up everything. If you ever need to restart that, you can do so here. If you click it, this is what you should see. We'll go ahead and skip the tour for now. And we'll review the stations tab. So here's where you can create new stations. You can see which stations are at what locations. You can see what games are added to what stations. And you can see what version of Springboard each station has. And we can edit these stations, give them different um, information and those sorts of things. We can also see what, um, you know, if there's any stations that need to be updated, which it looks like this test location needs to update all of its stations to be on the most recent build, uh, which we can do so remotely by clicking the update station button here. Let's go and go to the launcher builds tab. And here you can review all of the builds that we've released and what the most recent one is and what additions it has in the release notes here. We do generally, generally release a build once every two weeks, so expect those with your Springboard subscription where we, diff we add different uh, enhancements, we fix some bugs, and we add some new features to Springboard VR. Next is our Locations tab. Here you can set up different locations and manage them with different users. Uh, it's very easy to add your logo so your customer can see where they are inside the Springboard environment. Our stations, station logs is something you really don't need, but it's, it's really for us to see if there's anything going wrong with your account, and if so, it helps us to identify errors more quickly. We'll skip the monitor stations for now. Let's go ahead and go to the Games tab. And here you can very easily add games to your Springboard account. If we'll go ahead and click Quick Add Games. It'll bring up a list of all of the games discovered on your computer. All you need to do is give it a category, and click add game and that's it it'll be added to your springboard account so we can see all the games that are added here in our beginner category intermediate category and advanced we can edit these games we can get a lot more detail as far as text description what video and image that they have for the customers to see which can all be customized by you let's go and go to the categories tab here's where you set your categories you can change the name of these especially if you're uh, a foreign language country then you can you know edit these and call them whatever you want you can see how many games have which categories and all of that so let's go to go to the tags tags is helps your customers filter out what games they want to play so you can add different filter tags and assign them to different games our analytics shows you different information as far as how often certain games are being played with certain date ranges. You can see it in uh, different formats. And we can see Job Simulator is dominating. And next we'll go ahead and take a look at the Users tab, which you can see here. It's very easy to create different users and assign them different permissions. So for instance, if we click this, we can see that we can give a user uh, permissions to manage one location or both. Uh, we can give them different access to the monitor stations or you want them to add games or be able to download the update assistant. It's very customizable what you can do with your users. All right, and now before we head into the monitor station screen, we'll first review booking. And so what booking is, is it's a feature that allows you to create a scheduler widget that plugs into your existing website 
and integrates into your Facebook page. And so kind of what it'll look like is a little booking widget just like this put on your Facebook page. You can also create its own web page. So if you want to create a, a book now tab on your website, it'll be linked to this page right here. And um, it's, it's really cool feature where and here's kind of how you set it up. You just put in your org details, your time zone, uh, how many people you want max per station and refund policies, hours of operations, which stations you want to be allowed to be booked. Uh, you can set your prices for your customers to choose from and it does currently integrate into Square point of sale system and in the future it will definitely integrate into more. You can also have it to just accept in-store payments. And then lastly is your widget settings. So what color you, you want the button to look like and, and the link that uh, integrates to your Facebook page and, and all of that fun stuff. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to the monitor stations page, which is sort of a, a part two of booking. Uh, it's really the main hub your employees will interact with on a daily basis. And here it is. We see that... Uh, Dave has only got 30 seconds left of his time on Station 5 over there, but really what it is, it's a view for your employees to see what is going on on all of your stations at your arcade, which ones are ready to be booked, which ones are about to expire, who is there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, it also has the calendar page, so we can see um, who's reserved some time and who are, who are ready to check in, uh, if they've paid or not. Um, and so we can see... All sorts of things. We can edit the booking. We can change the station these people are assigned to, um, and 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 so much more. So, let's say, for instance, you had a, a walk-in appointment. Uh, you could just add a booking. Say one player for a station, this much minutes for now. Auto select the stations. Um, continue, and if we just hit pay in store. Type in some details and hit continue. It does save the details, so if you have a repeat customer, you can just type the first couple letters of their name and close. And now we see, okay, it auto assigned them to station eight. Here's Jordan. Uh, he, we need to go ahead and check him in. And he's checked in. Now let's start the time, assuming that you went ahead and also took money from this walk-in appointment, whether that be cash or card or whatever. Uh, so you, you notice that I uh, Jordan did 15 minutes, but he has about 19 minutes, 20 minutes of total time. That's based on a setting that we did here in, in our booking called uh, setup time. So you can, on each one of these, you can add a few extra minutes um, to the, the the time bot to really get the customer's headset on in the in the tutorial or whatever get them acclimated to VR so that's why he's got more time than uh, he actually paid for so let's say we want to extend their time um, we can very easily do that we can do a charged extend or a complimentary extend depending on uh, what you want to do for the customer what the customer wants and if if this customer had uh, paid with the card then we would have his card details on on file we could just simply hit charge extend 30 minutes extend time please charge a customer 27 bucks like I said if the card was on file it would have just automatically done it no problem we'll go ahead and confirm got 30 more minutes uh, of st on uh, station 8 and that is how that works so that's a monitor stations page uh, this is, like I said, the central hub that your employees will mess with all the time. If a customer calls for help, they'll get uh, notifications on this screen. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and hop into the actual launcher. All right, and now that we've added time to the station, we can go ahead and put the headset on and check out the Springboard VR environment. And so everything you see in here is based on how you set up your admin panel. So the games you added to the categories, the category names themselves, the videos that are associated with each game, uh, the text description associated with each game. Uh, a lot of it comes by default, but you can obviously change it to whatever you want. The filters that you have associated with different games, all customizable from your admin panel. Uh, obviously the customer can see how much time they have left there. And, and all of that. So 
if I want to go ahead and load up Spacebar Trainer, for example, just point and click, and then launch. It's going to load up Spacebar Trainer for me. And here in just two seconds, we will be in. There you go. Okay, there's a lot of fun shooting things, but now I want to play something else. I'm going to go ahead and press the Systems button beneath the trackpad to bring up this overlay. And uh, you might notice the Steam dashboard is totally locked down. You cannot have any access to it. You can bring it back up in your station edit stations page from your admin panel if you want. But uh, obviously, obviously, this makes it where your customers cannot access your desktop or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and point and click to change game. And this will bring back the Springboard VR environment. And in less than five seconds, we're back. Um, and let me show you the filter. So if I go ahead and click the shooter tag, it's going to filter it to only the shooter games. Okay, we don't have any shooter games in the beginner category. I'm going to tick that back off. And now all of our games return. And so that's pretty much it for the uh, feature overview vi video of Springboard VR. Uh, we definitely have more in-depth videos of all of our feature sets, so please be sure to check those out on our features page on our website. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you next time.